Jesus' name. Praise God. Praise the Lord. Praise God. Praise His name. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord.
was in New York, because my son was the picking of factory. My son was the picking of factory. So, er, uh, he's a good man, and he's had this today. He's just one of us. Miss it today, and you know, he, he showed me that although he was not my biological father, but biological father, he showed me a father figure. I can call him it, call him, call him at him anytime. Yes, so I cherish the memories I have to spend with him, and know he is smiling down on us all. So, you know, God, as I say, God is good all the time. Thank you. Until I found out for myself, you know, 
um, a family man, yes, I'm not going to do over. You know when I'm sick and I call him, I say, babes, my head hurts. You know, he buy out the whole pharmacy. <laughs> Sometimes he said, oh, you feel like you think whole pharmacy can't come to me? He said, one of them must work. <laughs> I said, oh, bad days when, you know, some are too strong. And he said, bad. You see, we call him and tell him, he said, me sick, he sick, you won't do. So sometimes when he feels sick, I do not call him. When he's eating, you know, Earth spends more time in Lindsay than he spends with me. Because he gets up at 3 o'clock every morning. He has a special taxi at 3.30. By quarter to four, early and Lindsay. When you go to Lindsay, so sometimes I say you have to stay. You cannot go out so early and say, we have to clean up in the plaza, I know, because if the taxi then come in there, so we don't have to get to clean the place, no. So I had to go out and clean it. He was my darling, my baby. You know, the son said, he makes me, makes me a woman. He makes me a woman. He makes me keep my integrity. Yeah. And I was a very faithful wife.
Praise God. Praise the Lord.
Earl also started working. Sorry. Earl also tutored many youths and peers, and some went on to acquire advanced degrees. He started working at the age of 14 years old with a head nurse at the clinic in Cross Keys. He was known to be a well-mannered and disciplined young man who also loved the children and made it his point of duty to help them get to and from school safely. He was well trusted with his responsibility in the community. Earl took his job seriously as he often went the extra mile to ensure that they were not in any danger. Being such a reliable and honest community member, Earl was later offered a job as a supervisor at a supermarket where he continued to display impeccable work ethics. He was also a caregiver and he cared for his mother who needed special attention until the time. Earl migrated to Lindsay in St. Catherine in the 70s, where he lived with his sister. He started working at Charlie Mount High School, where he did construction work, after which he became a security guard at Dallas Security Firm. One Sunday morning, Earl went to buy Sunday dinner. This lady was sitting outside washing when he saw her immediately. He stated, I pretty lady, could I come and help you wash? I know that's my mom. She smiled thinking he was joking. He then pulled the gate, came into the yard, and guess what he did? He placed his hands in the water, took up a piece of garment, and started washing. She was shocked, but thought to herself, this must be a good man. They started dating, and it was proven that he was a good man indeed. And yes, he was. He took her with her two daughters, Tamika and Tisha. Tisha is me. He cared for them and loved them equally as if they were his own. They were never introduced as step. Never. 
never hesitated to share what he had. I never expected any form of pain. The strength he possesses wasn't flashy in your face. In many ways, he was quiet, unassuming, and just got on with things. Earl loved this food. Fried chicken, bread food, and fried dumpling was his favorite. On Friday evenings, when he got home from work, Valerie had to ensure that his favorite meal was prepared. Sometimes he would peep in the living room while he was eating. He would have fallen asleep with a chicken leg in his hands. And then we would wake him up to watch. He would respond, we not asleep, and we would then smile and walk away. One would never know when he was sad because he always smiled, worked his smile. He wasn't a man of many words, but he expressed his true love through his actions. We were supported in whatever we did, and we never felt anything but love. His love was unconditional, and this we will cherish from his character and take with us forever. His kindness and generosity will be remembered by all who had the pleasure of him. For 35 years, he and his wife shared everything life has to offer. They were a great team in supporting each other and us in every way. What he taught us is that life was short and often brutal, and the best way to combat all that is with a good laugh and the ability to appreciate small moments of joy. Despite any circumstances, it's hard to imagine life without him, and we will miss him dreadfully. We will hold on to the memories we made for him. On August the 26th, 2022, at approximately 10.50 a.m., Earl was taken from his family in a tragic and premature way. A kind and noble man was no more to be. Today, we honor, respect, and remember a great father, husband, grandfather, friend, brother, and uncle who touched and enriched all our lives in so many ways. He will be sadly missed by his wife, Patricia Taylor Valley, daughters, Anishka, Tamika, and Tisha, grandchildren, one brother, Vani, two sisters, Tutu and Jim, and a host of other relatives and friends. As it is written in the book of John 5, verses 28 to 29, marvel not at this, for the hour is coming, in which all that are in the grave shall be and shall come forth, they that have done good. Unto the, resurrect, unto the resurrection of life, and they that have done evil, unto the resurrection of life. What would early be, may his soul rest in peace, and light perpetual shine upon him. express publicly again sincere sympathy and condolences to Sister Valerie and all the members of the Taylor's family in this time of your bereavement. I want to say I too have come to know Earl for a few years now, See, seen him up and down in the instant and found him to be a very generous person very quiet and easy going. 
And so this afternoon I want to say to the family, as you mourn his loss and as we pay respect to him, please cheer up. It's really sad, but I encourage you to cast your cares upon the Lord Jesus Christ. In him you can find all the comfort and bliss that you are in need of. And I was want to say to you, in these sad times, real awful days that we are living in, be reminded that the God of heaven still remains God and is a God of divine justice. The Bible said at the time of this ignorance, God we taught, but now we commanded all men everywhere to repent because he had appointed a day in the which he shall judge this world in righteousness. So be assured that justice will be served. Amen. And it will be served in due time by the Almighty God Himself. I say to the prior believing people, keep on touching God with your prayers. He's still on His throne, He still hears, and He still answers. God bless you.
preparation. Can you bless the Lord? He made a preparation. That deer is our way out. So we can escape. There is a way of escape. Eternal death. Can you bless the Lord? Can you bless the Lord? Yes. Physical death will come. Yes, it will come because you he had an appointment with us. But here is our way out. God in infinite grace and mercy made a way out. A way of escape. We now must go ahead. God has prepared a way. Can escape it. Amen. So this afternoon, my friend, I walked around with the time against us, and it seemed that the rain is going to fall. Amen. 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 And you bless the Lord. Amen. But there is an appointment with man. And the seriousness about this man, you know not when he's coming. You know not how he's coming. And you know not where he is coming to meet you. Amen. Amen. So what we need to do is to make preparation. Accept the way out which God has prepared for us. To his son. That we can have life after death. Amen. Amen. We can have life after death. We don't have to lose. We don't have to find ourselves on the other side. God has made our way of escape. Bless the Lord. 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 Jesus died that we can be escaped. We can I'm 
keep your tongues in Jesus' name. Amen. You bless the Lord. Heal. Cover them with your divine coloring. Guide them dearly, Lord, as they mourn the loss of mother, of their father, their, their uncle, their whoever it may be to them. I pray for guidance and direction. I pray for comfort, Lord, as they go. Bless them, cover them. May you realize that you are here as comfort. We give you thanks in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. God bless you. Remember we are the, the procession you are going to list. If you give a little more than you take And if you try to fix more then you break If you're the kind Who takes the time To help a stranger in the rain There's a place For people like you If you stand up For those down on their knees And lend a voice To those who cannot speak if you shine a little light, give sight to the ones who've lost their way. There's a place for people like you. I've heard up there the streets are made of gold. And when you get there, there's a hand to hold. When your day's down here or through There's a place up there for people like you If you walk around with your heart on your sleeve And if you're trying to be the change you want to see If you lay down your life for love so someone could Saved. There's a place for people like you I've heard up there the streets are made of gold And when you get there, there's a hand to hold I believe when your day's down here or through there's a place up there for people like you. Is it 
peaceful? Is it free like they say? Does the sun shine bright forever? Have your fears and your pain gone away? Cause here on earth it feels like everything good is missing since you left.
I used to do I just can't do them no more There's a peace running deep from my soul
Yeah, don't wag them, don't wag them. Chris, I'm going to beg you to cut them two boys, yeah? Mm -hmm. No one second, no one talking. Just jump up to him when like someone. I'll oh, say yeah. I have a second like him. Yeah.
the steel properly. Oh, when we hold and we hold together, we get to heaven. What a day of rejoicing that will be. When we all see Jesus, we will and shout the victory. Cloud will overspread the sky, but when traveling days are over, the shadow and the sky. Oh, when we are together, what a day we are rejoicing that will be. Y'all do want to
Your fears and your pain. 